talk about fractions and mixed numbers as quotients. Now remember your quotient is your answer in division. So if we have 15 divided by 3, our quotient is 5, and this is the representation of how we would write that if we use the division house model. So we looked at a story where we had four cups of trail mix, really yummy nuts and raisins and good things for going hiking. We had four cups of trail mix. Yum. And that was going to be divided and shared between three friends on a hike. Two and three friends on a hike. Notice that when I wrote this, I put the four cups of trail mix first, and then I said divided by three, because we're not going to split up the people and give it to the trail mix. That'd be crazy. We're going to split up the trail mix and give it to the people. So we're going to talk about how we can have fractions and mixed numbers in our quotients, which means our answer in division. So I'm going to tell you a strategy that's called keep change and flip. Keep change flip. This is how we're going to look at dividing numbers that are going to give us a mixed number or something less than a whole in the form of a fraction. So the first thing that you do after you've made your choice about how to arrange your division story, we know that we're going to divide the trail mix, not the people. We're dividing four by three. So we have four cups of trail mix shared between three people. We're going to keep that first digit the same. That four is our keep. We're going to change that division symbol. We're going to change it into multiplication. So we're going to change that into a multiply symbol, and then we're going to flip this three. But I don't mean just turn it upside down. I mean turn it into its reciprocal fraction. This three is really, three is equal to, if we write it as a fraction, three over one whole. That's the same. These are the same things. Three over one whole. But now, to use our quick strategy, we're going to flip that 3. We flip that last number in our division problem. If it would be 3 over 1, we're going to flip it to 1 third. And now we're ready to go straight across. So we know that when we multiply our fractions and when you have a whole number, whole numbers stay the same and keep their value if you just put them over 1. So this would truly be 4 over 1 times 1 over 3. And let's multiply straight across. 4 times 1 is 4. 3 times 1 is 3. So everyone is going to get 4 thirds of a cup of this trail mix. But we have to think. We need to reduce and simplify. Remember, when we simplify our fractions, our denominator becomes our divisor. And the numerator goes inside the division house. And then we go through and divide. 3 can go into 4 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. We subtract. That's 1. And we found our remainder. And our remainder becomes our numerator. So that's one whole group, one whole cup of trail mix, and an additional 1 third for each person. So if we have four cups of trail mix and we're going to share it between three people, we can see by using the keep, change, flip method that you will each get one and one third cups of trail mix. You can choose to use the keep, change, flip model that I talked about down here, or you can use the visual model in the Envisions lesson. Great job!